Welcome to Marco Polo Travel. Join me, Paul, as I make my way from Guadalajara, Mexico, down to Patagonia overlanding, virtually all by bus transportation. One man, 17 countries, 12 epic months on the road. I'm standing here in the southern Mexican city of Oaxaca, in the state of Oaxaca, where tonight, December 23rd, celebrating its 121st rendition is the Noche de los Rabanos, which of course in English means Night of the Radishes. Take a minute for that to sink in. Night of the Radishes, yes. It was a bit odd when I first heard it too. Um, ever since 1897, the Oaxacans here in Mexico have had a festival where they carve different Christmas traditional nativity scenes into radishes. Uh, yes, you're thinking, well, radishes are very small. Actually, the government has taken out land, since this is a over 100 year tradition, taken out land and grown specific radishes to be very large and to be carved into very interesting and uh, incredible sculptures. The process itself is actually five days long. There's the first day of the process where you actually have to go. The government allows every uh, contestant who has entered to come by, check out the radishes, pick out their favorites. Then, for the next two days, or sorry, the next day, you have to clean the radishes and get them ready for carving. After that, days three and four, you are carving. You are up all day, all night. I mean, these scenes are intricate, very intricate, incredible, um, and some are very funny but most are steeped in very traditional values, Oaxaca traditional values. Uh, there's a huge indigenous population that lives here, so you'll see some of that. Um, and then the, uh, the fifth day is the showing day. Right now it is about 10.30 uh, a.m. local time. Uh, at about noon in the Zocalo, which is the city center, people start to gather, check out all the uh, incredible carvings, and uh, by the end of the day, more than 100,000 people will be here uh, to be looking at the various carvings. And that also means that there will be long lines. Last year it was reported that there were lines to see various carvings over two and a half hours long. I will be getting some mezcal for me to stay in line. It is kind of cold around here, keep myself warm, maybe even some parchada. I don't know, we'll see. So please enjoy and let's go see exactly how cool these carvings are gonna look. I'm excited. I mean, when I first heard of it, I knew that I had to be here on the 23rd of December. So I took not only one bus to get here last night, but two buses as Christmas time in Mexico. It's a very Catholic country. Everyone is trying to get home to see their grandma, their grandpa, their aunt, their second cousins, brothers, mother. I mean, everyone's trying to get in travel. Uh, the night bus that I just took to get here, the, the two night buses were packed to the gills, but you know what? For the Noche de los Rabanos, I will do it. I mean, even for the Mexicans who celebrate three day long festivals for those who have died, paint themselves in skeletons, very odd for American culture. Um, this is a very odd festival, the Noche de los Rabanos, and unique and intricate. That's what makes it so cool. Right here is a mural to Stephen Hawking. Interestingly enough, you can see that woman spraying the water on. Uh, that keeps the radishes fresh as these wilt very quickly. You can see that gentleman doing it as well. This was the Apocalypsis, uh, which actually ended up winning the entire competition. So impressive. These huge dragons, which are just massive and hung by strings. Um, this won the Libre category, which is the non-traditional category. And there's less of a prize money that goes to these guys. When I got a free minute, I actually gave a phone call to my friend Daenerys Targaryen and asked her if she now had a five-headed dragon on her repertoire because these guys are coming in hot for her. She better watch out if she is trying to win the throne. <laughs> Thank you.
And as it, the, the fest continued to go, there was hordes of people. This is just during the day, folks. You will see soon at nighttime the droves of people that came through. Here we have Miss Frida Kahlo, always a fan favorite. But I never did understand the unibrow thing. I mean, Anthony Davis can pull it off, but a woman uh, like Frida, she's pretty, no need. This thing, not sure what it is. Thankfully, my buddy Chris was there to join me, so I wouldn't be the only one filming the whole thing. Here we have a aqueducto or an aqueduct, uh, very popular throughout Mexico as a way that water was able to transfer from the lakes and the fresh water sources to the people. Here's a guy spraying some water, speak the devil. Uh, you can't forget the Ten Commandments when you're talking about traditional scenes. This one was super impressive and very um, germane to the audience and what exactly they were looking for. The police in Mexico never sleep, especially when you just got a fresh tattoo. Uh, tlayudas are like Mexican pizzas, they're amazing. Um, and this one here talks about corn and how prevalent it is within Oaxaca society. And speaking of corn, it would not be right if they did not allow contestants to enter um, sculptures that were made out of corn, like this one right here. Um, and the next one you are about to see, both were made out of corn. And um, then you get into the floral arrangements. Yes, they have floral arrangements at the Noche de los Rabanos. Um, very impressive that are at the back end. As we fast forward to the main event, the nighttime, the uh, what is that guy? Doing, I would not let my kids stand within a hundred feet of that Game of Thrones character. The whole town is lit up beautifully at night, even if you're not there for the Noche de los Rabanos. You can go and check out some impressive churches, as well as taste some of the local flair uh, and fare all across this night market because during Christmas time it is buzzing in all of City de Oaxaca. All right, so we are here. This is Madi. We're about to go and see what the nighttime radishes look like. When they said that 100,000 people flocked to this city center, they were not kidding. It is quite a lot of people here. I'm getting overwhelmed. I'm claustrophobic usually. It definitely doesn't stop. Jeez. Por favor, dime, ¿cuándo podemos comer los rábanos? ¿Alguien sabe? Porque yo tengo mucho hambre. And for those of you who want to get in the Christmas spirit even more, the Zocalo next door has Christmas carols that'll put you right in the spirit. Don't forget to visit the petting zoo. 